YouTube, welcome back. We are still outside touching grass, right? It's been a while. And today I'm going to show you how to install the local app, the offline app that you can use to play online and play offline. But this is going to be directed to offline play only. Okay. So first, before we go in, I have two disclaimers for you. The first one is that we're going to use a offline save, which is my offline save that I use for testing purposes and stuff like this. So this is a act save. I'm going to give it to you for offline only. If you're using this for online, you are going to get banned. That's for sure, because most of those Pokemons do not have a epic or blue variants yet. All right. So this is the first disclaimer. Do not use this save for online. If you can import it somehow, do not use it. This is only for offline and no, no, no testing purposes. Second disclaimer, and I don't really call them cheating for online, right? You can do whatever you want offline. It's not going to do anything for anybody, right? But for online, do not use those app, those bug abuse or anything like that because you might get banned. All right. You can do whatever you want offline. I don't care. But for online, try to avoid those bugs. I'm happy that you guys are enjoying those videos. You know, I would say subscribe. We have probably a goal. I would say 1K subscribers would be the goal, the nearby goal, and then more in the future, of course. Like the video if you can. And that's going to be it. So I will see you guys in the next one. All right. So the first thing we need to do to get the app is to get the link for the app. So there is a offline and modding channel in the dev channel category on the Pokerog Discord. So on the Pokerog Discord to join, it's very easy. You add server, join, you type Pokerog, and you should be in. If you don't have the, the channel, you look for it at the top, channels and roles, browse, and you look for the modding channel, whatever it is. It's over there. All right. Okay, so once you are in the offline and modding channel, we are now going to go into pin messages, and we want to go for not this one here, we are looking for Pokerog app, okay? So this is the link. I'm going to put the link in the description anyway, so just go for it, I guess. It's easier. It's this link here. So Pokerog app release. We're going to copy this link and we're going to go on the browser. All right, so this is the release page of the Pokerog app. This might look different in the future, but basically we are looking for Pokerog Windows and you can have it on Linux, macOS, and on your phone as well with the APK file here. All right, so for Windows, you're going to click on the zip. You're going to get it into a folder and you're going to extract it. I'm going to use the same folder that I used last time. I'm just going to paste it here. You want to right click on it and just extract here, right? It doesn't matter. Or you can just do it with like WinRAR. You just take all the files and you extract. You just have to extract basically everything that you have here. All right. So once everything is unzipped, you should have the Pokerog application. So this is the offline app that we're going to use. So there is two ways of using this app. Okay, we're going to click on it. It's going to open a new window. So now we have nothing. If you press Alt, you have the menu at the top. You have File, Settings, Utilities, Edit, About. So by default, you're going to have no offline mode. So this is what you're going to have. You're going to have the game and you're going to have the login form. This app can actually connect you to offline to online play. Sorry. Like it's basically the same thing as the as the game online, right? It's going to connect to your account online, but that's not what we want. What we want to do is play offline. And as I said at the beginning, you cannot import your save from offline to online. So now you're going to go into file. You're going to press download latest files for offline. This is going to take a while. This is going to take all the games files and it's going to extract them. It's going to take a while. So you have to wait, wait for this box to disappear. OK, so once you have no box on the screen, now you want to go into settings this time and we're going to go into offline mode. So offline mode is going to use a separate save. So you, you can hack it all you want. You can do whatever you want with it. And I'm going to show you how to import an, uh, a save. So I've made my own save. There is one on the Discord. Let me actually show you. So if you go back on Discord, if you go into the pin messages here, there is a save called everything.prsv. This is a save with everything unlocked. 
but there is some stuff missing, so I've been having my own save. And uh, let me show you the save, what's happening in it. There you go, so this is my save. Basically, it is a hacked save. This is where I do all my testing all the time for classic runs, for specific fights. I have uh, simulated sessions as well, simulated fights. So you have every single Pokemon, every single possible variant. So every Pokemon is a red shiny, but not all Pokemon have a shiny variant, okay? This is very important here. So how do you import this? This is my save. You're gonna use the link in the description. It's gonna give you a PRSV file. It's the same as the one on Discord, except there is everything unlocked. So on the everything.prsv, you have nothing unlocked. So you, you do have the candies, but you don't have the passive, you don't have the reduction cost. I have every single thing unlocked. Oh, that's why offline exists. Offline exists only to do testing. You can play on it, have some fun in classic with everything unlocked. If you don't want to wait, it is up to you what you want to do with this save. But again, you cannot import it to online. You cannot do it. You can export your data from online as well. So if you go online on Pokerog and you go into manage data, you can export your data and you can import your current save from off online to offline and you can import your data. So you export data from online, then you import the PRSV file. So to import the save, you want to import data and you are going to import the file that you downloaded earlier, which is my save. And you're gonna overwrite everything. But again, you can import your own data. All right, don't have to be my save. It can be your online save if you want to do some um, testing. Sessions are gonna be the actual save. So for example, when you go into load game, you have a session. Those saves over there are called sessions and you can export them or import them. So for example, if you go online and you have a save in slot five, you want to go into manage data, export session from slot five. So now I only have slot one because I only have one save, but you should have slot five online. And then you can import your session. So you're going to uh, not gacha, sorry, you go into manage data, import session, and you're going to import the session file that you just downloaded from online. Okay, so now I just have a classic run that I was testing with Eternal Truth to see how bad the Pokemon is, to be honest. But there you go. Hopefully you enjoy the offline app. So some stuff don't work. Sometimes the game is gonna bug out in classic uh, at certain points. I think there is still some bugs like left and right on the app. If you have any issues, please go on the Discord and ask there. That's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.